What's good YouTube, it's your boy Ari. Welcome back to AM Island Vibes. Hope you guys are doing good, I'm doing great. With that, we're back with a reaction video. Today we're gonna to be reacting to the most unusual food that only exists in China. All right? Y'all know me, fat boy Ori can eat. But let's see if there's some stuff on here I would try. You know, I'm, 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 I'm usually into trying new stuff to a certain extent. But, you know, for like, for, for like a fat guy, yes I am fat, you know, um, I don't eat the stuff like you would think. It's like, I feel like, for me, it's just like, I just eat the same thing over and over and over and over. It just, you know, and stuff, you know, don't be good for me, but you know, I'm trying to work on it, trying to get sexy, trying to get sexy for this YouTube body, you know, but I'm trying to fat. With that being said, if you guys are new to the channel, smash the like button, subscribe, comment all the good stuff down in the comment section below. If there's anything you want me to react to, just let me know and I'll get on as soon as possible. With that being said, let's get into this video. You dig? The Chinese are well known when it comes to eating weird foods. And the recent coronavirus outbreak is thought to be the result of their strange eating habits. You see, there are several types of coronavirus, all of which have their origins in bats. It's also heard that a snake would have eaten an infected bat, and then someone ate that snake and got the virus. Well, that said, here's a list of 10 most unusual foods that only exist in China. Want to learn about the weirdest Chinese street food? Then make sure to check out our number one video. Before we move on, I've got a little challenge for y'all that'll take five seconds to complete. So here's the deal. You just leave a like on this video, smash that subscribe button, and hit the notification bell, and you'll get 10 years of amazing luck. Y'all hear the man? Smash the like button. Mm -mm -mm. Subscribe. You, you got 10 years of good luck. Try it. It really works. We begin our list with a rather disturbing video taken in Guangdong province in South China. I know that you didn't ask for this, but there's a step-by-step -step guide on how to prepare giant snake soup. The guy in this video first carefully washes the snake, then puts it in a bowl until the snake is completely clean. Then he cuts it from top to bottom. Notice how the snake's body still moves around even after it's been gutted completely. It's a muscle. I think I'm not going to be eating meat for a long time after it's watching like this video. Thank it. you, China. Snake soup was once considered a luxury dish by the Chinese. It was enjoyed only by wealthy people, but later on it became common among the classes as well. Snake soup is also used for medicinal purposes in China because they believe it cures ailments such as arthritis and improves blood circulation. However, eating snake soup might also be the easiest way to get coronavirus. Just say it. Weird street foods in Shenzhen, China. Oh, Paul, let me show you something. Um, there, there's this, I don't know what the name, it's like this shot, right? Where, I think, I can't remember what they pour in, right? What they do is take the blood of a cobra, I think it's cobra or rattlesnake or one poisonous snake or viper or some of them. What they do is they cut the head off of it, right? And they drain the blood into a shot glass, right? And what they do is they add, I can't remember if it's, it's vodka or gin or if it's just the blood alone. But anyway, they shot the, they shot, they drink the raw shot, I mean raw snake blood. Right, and they say it gives you, like, you know, it's supposed to make you stronger, you know, for men. You know what I mean, you know what I say that. For men, it's supposed to, you know, have you have a stronger reaction, basically. And, you know, with that, you know, all that good stuff. Um, yeah, I just figured I should tell you that that's a fun fact. In this video, you can see the weirdest street foods that you can eat in the city of Shenzhen, located on the central coast of southern Guangdong province. First, there's black stinky tofu. This doesn't sound very appealing, does it? Ugh. The odor of stinky tofu is said to resemble that of rotten <clears throat> garbage. Ew. How can anyone eat something that smells like rotten garbage? I know the Chinese people are special and all, but man, this is weird. The video also shows us a whole bunch of unusual looking foods. We have centipede, grasshopper, sea serpent, spiders, some weird bugs, and yes, even scorpions. These people. I ain't lie. I'll try a scorpion. Oh damn! I press the button. Anything that moves. Now I get that humans are omnivores, but the Chinese really take it to the next level. 
Seahorse? Goldfish. If oh. you know your sea creatures, you'll understand why it's weird that anyone Most would serve a blue blue fish fish. as a meal. It's poisonous. But hey, we're Fair talking hard. about China here. So, most of is there. Anyway, bluefish or puffer fish is one of the most deadly creatures on the planet. What do I mean? You see, yeah. nearly all puffer fish contain tetrodotoxin, a toxin Poison. that is so powerful and deadly that it can kill 30 people in one hit. What makes it even more dangerous is the fact that there isn't any antidote. So how and why do people still eat it, you ask? Oh, well, that, my friends, is a very interesting question. I don't want to know you that. have to remove the poison, obviously, but it's not like anyone can do it. Only a specially trained chef with years of experience can prepare it. It's pretty brave to trust your chef to be good enough to get the poison out. Oh. I don't know about you, but I wouldn't miss no, it. Oh, never mind. Strangely, some chefs actually choose to leave a little bit of the toxin in the fish, which causes a tingling sensation on the lips and tongue. What? I think I'll pass. Grilled crocodile meat. I'll eat that. We often think of crocodiles as being something that could eat us. But did you know you can eat them? Well, yep. in China, you Eat can. Them first. If you're gonna try some, I'll try just that for make real. sure it's properly grilled before you but, do it. Crocodile isn't a weird meat, though. There are people in, in, in the country, in the U.S., and I'm pretty sure parts of the Caribbean, too, that eat crocodile. Or, or, that's not a strange meat, so please, y'all should take that off. You know what I mean? You don't want it biting back now, do you? <laughs> people in China just love the chicken meat likeness of the croc, but that's not the only reason they're eating it. Apparently, the crocodile has numerous health benefits, and it can also cure respiratory illnesses, like asthma. Some popular dishes prepared with crocodile include crocodile curry, crocodile tail steaks, and crocodile soup. So, would you try crocodile meat? Yeah. Let me know in the comments. I have. It was pretty... No, wait, that was alligator. Oh, it was awesome. Oh! There's a difference between crocodile and alligator. I'll try them both. I forgot that. Which one is bigger? Is the alligator bigger? What's the difference between a crocodile and an alligator? Explain that to me. I really don't know. Is one? I'm assuming one is bigger. No. Giant octopus. Oh, octopus is good. Sometimes eating dead stuff just isn't the technically not out of the top Sometimes part. Sometimes you want your food to have more kick, literally. Cook, fry. I had it. resisting you. Well, this octopus dish not calls. Not like that. Not that. Oh my God! This is a dish that will literally slither down your throat. Ah! It's technically still alive. This South Korean dish is served so fresh that the central ingredient, octopus, is alive oh. on the plate. Though it's dressed in sesame oil and sesame seeds to at least make it look a little more bearable. If something's going to be attacking the inside of your mouth, you want it to at least be tasty, right? Okay, when I say attacking the inside of your mouth, I'm not exaggerating for comedic effect. I am not overblowing the slight wiggling sensation you might feel thrashing against your teeth. This is a genuine danger here. The active suction cups up the tentacles. Oh, I just want to tell you, that's very dangerous. Let me tell you why before you tell you so y'all think you think I'm stupid. So anyway, what can happen is um, you eat the live, I mean, octopus, right? That's that's stupid what they do, man. Let's stop from that. The, the octopus tentacles can stuck on your esophagus, right, while it's going down to your stomach. Meaning, so it's gonna lodge in your throat and you can't freaking breathe, right? So, it's gonna lodge in your throat and you're gonna die. Oh, hold on, my father, my father's trying to call me. Ah, uh, uh, let me. Ah, sorry, y'all. Yeah, yeah. I have to call him back. All right, but anyway, so. Um, let me message him so you and everything straight. Um, uh, sorry, y'all. Yeah, sorry. So, yeah, I was saying, it's going to lodge in your throat and, yeah, all that good stuff. Yeah, I watched it off. Y'all remember A Thousand Ways to Die? That's why I learned it from. So, like, it got lodged in your throat and it started making its way back up. So when he thought he swallowed it, it just got stuck and the tentacles just started coming to his nose. So it was like this, and his nose into his mouth. Like, and everybody starts kicking and screaming up in the restaurant like they lost their pissing head. 
can grip onto the roof of your mouth and throat, becoming a pretty serious choking hazard. <coughs> Scorpions. Scorpions, also eaten in China. They are served fried, roasted, or grilled. And sometimes they're even served alive. That's right. Just when you thought things couldn't get any weirder. But hey, at least they're tasty, right? Wrong. It's said that scorpions taste like moist ground. Wait, wait, what? What? <laughs> then why do the Chinese eat them? Well, who knows? The scorpions are sometimes put into traditional liquors and sometimes mixed with herbs. Uh, these fried small scorpions are used as snacks. And also, the stingers of these scorpions are not removed due to the fact that they lose poison after they're exposed to heat. The scorpions are also used for medicinal purposes. They are so frequently consumed in China that they often appear in the dishes of many restaurants. It is recommended that they should not be cooked at home. Oh man, I was just thinking about buying some scorpions and cooking them for dinner. Okay, never mind. Giant Rainbow Lobster. What? The beautiful creature you see on the screen is a giant rainbow lobster. Rainbow lobster. Just look at the colors on this animal. I haven't seen anything quite like it. It's like looking at a work of art. The rainbow lobster definitely deserves its name, that's for sure. And yes, rainbow lobster is considered a delicacy in countries such as Japan, yeah. Thailand, and of course, China. Not only is it a delicacy, but it's also one of the most expensive foods in the world. That's not true. back a whopping $600. Would you pay that amount of money just to eat a giant rainbow lobster? Let me know in the comments below. Nah, because it's just so pretty. It was like I don't even want to try to eat it. It tastes the same it, thing like a regular lobster. Squid sashimi. This video taken at the Gang Yung Yung Gang Market. I, I hope I said that right. In China, shows us a step-by-step -step process of preparing squid sashimi. Sashimi, in case you don't know, is a delicacy from Japan that consists of fresh raw fish or meat sliced into thin pieces. It's usually eaten with soy Whoa. sauce. <clears throat> With that out of the way, let's get back to the squid, shall we? As you can see, three squids are taken from the aquarium and put on the table. They're very much alive. The guy on the video cleans them and chops them up using a knife before putting them in the peeling machine. Look, the tentacles are still moving. Incredible. That's because squids have an incredibly complex nervous system, and more than two-thirds of their neurons are located in their tentacles, which is why they're able to react so quickly to threats. Because the dish is served so fresh, nerve activity continues in the tentacles, even though they've been disconnected from the brain, so they still move on the plate as you eat it. Even the suckers continue to function and can attach themselves to your throat as you're swallowing, which presents a serious choking hazard, especially when intoxicated. It's recommended to ensure the tentacles are properly chewed before swallowing, but even this doesn't completely prevent them from moving. Wow. Talk about dangerous food. I think they ought to make a TV series about eating dangerous food. Am I right? I thought the way to die. Oh god. Just when you thought That's things couldn't get any weirder, you come to find out that now? the Chinese also eat a whole lamb head. Oh lamb head. That's right. You heard me. I didn't stutter. Just look at it. It's a whole lamb head. Now that's just gross, man. I I can't eat it. Now, if you want to try this Chinese delicacy, well, it's not that bad. If you eat eating lamb, you just might as well eat the lamb head. So I don't think it's that bad, really and truly. For some odd reason, just make sure you clean the head first and then boil it. And yes, you can really eat everything. The brain, the eyes, the tongue, the skin. So pretty much everything except the bones. You can't eat bones, all right? Let's just move on before I throw up. Chinese bad. street food. And if it wasn't enough for you already, here's you another look at the it? Chinese street food. There is Roaches. something for everyone. Not me, though. You have live scorpions on a stick, all sorts of insects, some weird tails, grasshoppers, tarantulas, and even tiger claws. And here I thought lamb head was bad. Chinese people always seem to find a way to surprise you. And that's a wrap on the most unusual foods. What the hell is that? This little stuff for anyone else is. Exist only in China. Would you try any of the foods on this list? Yeah. Or would you stay the hell away from it? Like yours truly. Uh -huh. <laughs> Let me know in the comments nah, below. Man. I'll handpick and feature your comments in the next. Okay, yeah, that's it. I'd bust down that lobster. 
that crocodile, um, the squid, the octopus, um, lobster, crocodile, lamb head, because it's lamb, you know, I would eat the tongue and the eyes, because if you eat regular lamb, you just might eat the head too, right? But, hope you guys enjoyed the video, if you guys enjoy the video, even I just said that, smash the like button, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff down below. Anything you want me to react to, just let me know, and I will get on as soon as possible. With that being said, hope you guys have an amazing day. And until we meet again, remember, the world is yours. Peace.